What's going on guys, Sam Adams here, and if you do not know, for some reason, maybe you don't have social media, you don't watch the news, you don't talk to any living, breathing human being, you might not be aware of the fact that Pokemon Go debuted on July the 6th, and it has become an incredible success, basically over the course of the past few days. Everywhere you look, people are talking about this thing, and I'm going to go ahead and start this video off by saying that I'm not a big fan of the app, and I'm not a big fan of Pokemon overall. I installed the app, I caught like one Pokemon and I was like, nah, nah, and I uninstalled it within five minutes of actually getting it on my phone, but that's just me, you know, you have a right to love whatever you love, I love my games, you love your games, we're all happy people here, uh, but that being said, I am absolutely in incredibly amazed at what it has done for Nintendo and what it has the potential to do for the youth of America, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so the concept of Pokemon Go is pretty simple. Basically, you go out into the world and you find these virtual Pokemon and you can then catch them. It's pretty much like having objectives along your daily route wherever you might be going. If you see a Pokemon over in the distance, you can walk to it and potentially capture it. That's pretty much the grand scheme of things. You can level them up, there's a trading system that's coming down the pipe in a future update, so that's going to be pretty cool for those that are interested in that uh, but overall pretty much you just go out into the world you collect Pokemon now this is cool for one reason that I'm going to start out with which is the fitness of American youth it is no mystery to anyone that pretty much nationwide and worldwide it's very hard to get kids moving these days because video games and television and Netflix and movies they're all so readily available and food is so easily brought that you don't really have to get up if you don't want to like for instance if I didn't want to I could literally probably stay in in this house thanks to you know the fact that we have food and whatnot uh, for an extended period of time and I would be perfectly fine and that's just the uh, luxury of living in a modern world we have all this technology we have all this food readily available it's just kind of the way that we live and so with this new Pokemon Go app and the uh, draw of Pokemon to a younger audience I feel like it's really cool to see that there is actually a potential that this could get kids moving this could get kids going on mile long walks every night just to catch their favorite Pokemon and try and get something that's pretty rare that's what I love about it. now these second reason that I love this Pokemon Go thing is because of the way that it's actually impacting Nintendo. Uh, over the course of the past week, their stock market value has risen $7.25 billion, and on Monday they saw their highest stock market rise with a rise of around 24.8 or 0.9%, pretty much 25%, which is the highest one-day rise since 1983. That is mind-blowing stuff, and that's one of the things that I love to look at in the gaming industry whenever a new game or a new uh, piece of hardware comes out, is how it actually impacts the values of these companies and the stock markets, and it, it's just something I enjoy, but it's absolutely absolutely incredible to see Nintendo making such a comeback over an app that can be downloaded for free and of course you can buy microtransactions which is where a lot of this stuff is coming in but still this is something Nintendo is just kind of dipping their toe in the water and seeing how it feels and it seems like it's going to work out pretty well for them. Now what I'm hoping is that Nintendo sees the success of Pokemon Go which obviously they are with their stock market stuff and then they see that and they take it and run with it because if you put some creative minds and some creative assets behind some of their most popular franchises and you really think outside of the box, I have no doubt that you could replicate this success with Mario, with Zelda, with Splatoon even. You could do it with pretty much everything you have. It just takes some brain power and some creativity. Now this is the stretch goal. I hope that they stop all kind of console development aside from the 3DS because I feel like there's still kind of a market for that. If they stop production of any kind of Wii U, of any NX, and they focused on making their games available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, or whatever it is going forward, whether it be Project Scorpio and PlayStation Neo, whatever it is, if they made their games multi-platform, then not only would we be getting those experiences that you can only get from consoles, but then we would be getting these interesting little apps on phones and other devices that we can just kind of play with and they can experiment and we can kind of push Nintendo forward as they're kind of uh, figuring out who they are in this new generation of game. Anyways, I'm just blowing smoke. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Pokemon Go, but it's awesome to see that number one, kids are getting out and moving, adults are getting out and moving, and people are socializing over this app. Obviously, there are some bad things going on with some crime stuff, and some people finding dead bodies, but that's all beside the point. It's still cool to see this success and the love that is being put into this little mobile app. And on top of that, I'm glad to see that Nintendo is definitely profiting from it and perhaps maybe getting a new kind of idea of where they need to take the company going forward.
So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and let me know if you're playing Pokemon Go in the comment section down below. Have you collected some kind of rare Pokemon? Be sure to drop a comment. And if you happen to be new to the channel, be sure to head over there to the main page and check out some of my other videos because I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week. So there's always something new when you want to stop by and watch some videos. But as for right now, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.